There, that's the one I wanted. Yeah, I really haven't been talking much in this, guys. I'm just really enjoying this uh, spot that I am at, camping for a few days. I brought a bunch of trucks, but this is the only one I've taken out. It's been really a good time here on the rocks at the river. So hopefully you guys are enjoying this video. It's, it's going to be a long one, but I'm just following the riverbank started in one spot and I've probably gone a kilometer now and I'm just having a grand old time so thanks for watching I'll tell you guys, this these SCX six honchos are just freaking incredible. They're just beasts. Like you can see the terrain that I'm going through at this river, and the SCX six is just killing it. Like look at that. Hopefully you guys can see that. I'm kind of standing behind the truck, and I can't see in front of it. But yeah, this these things are just amazing. I'm doing a little bit of walking beside the truck here guys. I, uh, I'm still suffering from a groin injury and I don't want to get too much more into the slippery rocks there because I'm still suffering from it and it's still bothering me but it is not going to stop me from getting out here with these SCX6s man I'm telling you. I know I haven't uh, done a lot of narrating in this video but you know sometimes people don't like to hear me and they just like to listen to the water. So I'm hoping you guys are enjoying this as we work our way down the shoreline of this uh, Castle River. We're kind of getting to a little bit of a plateau spot here, so just alongside. The campground is up in there uh, somewhere. Uh, actually, I think I can, at this point through my walk, I think that's my trailer. I don't know if you guys can see it. No, that ain't my trailer. I'm way past my trailer. That is, no, nope, that is my, I don't know if you guys can see that in there. That is my brother-in-law's fifth wheel right there. So I've gone quite a ways, but we're going to just keep going. So hopefully you guys are enjoying and I'm just going to shut up and drive. And there's the lovely rocks getting the pumpkins. You really got to watch those rocks that are 
in the water to try and get the, the right line on them. They just pop up everywhere in there and it's hard to judge them in the water. But this is a good spot just to go through the water here. I don't know if I'm going to get around this corner coming up here because uh, we're starting to get into some faster water I think. Sometimes you just got to give her some juice. Um, we're rocking two 9,000 Ma 100C 3S LiPos today. Um, they are Z batteries. They're freaking awesome. I've got them in parallel. So we're, we're basically rocking 18,000 Ma. And uh, so far so good. Been out for a while. And uh, we're, we're making her. And I don't want to get too far... Uh, away from the campground in case I got to pull this thing back and I don't have my backpack with me because I'm still kind of in the campground area. Yeah, it's just an amazing place. Good place for uh, fly fishing, for bolt trout, cutthroat, brown trout. And of course, freaking amazing for our scene. I think there's a path up here that I got back to my campsite quickly if I need to so if I got to come back this way I can get back to my campsite and take a break and then come right back down in here and go again go the other way but we're gonna go to this uh, just give me a sec here we're gonna go see we're getting into some fast water and, and this tree line goes around the corner so I don't know if I'm gonna get through there but we're gonna go down there and check so let's keep going Let's just keep going and see yeah, people come down here and they put these rock breaks in <clears throat> So they can come down and sit in the water and stuff when it's like 35 degrees Celsius here We're uh, mid-august, so I'm surprised that we're not really hot It's we came uh, at a cooler time, which is kind of nice haven't had to put the air conditioner on in the trailer at all Actually, uh, I think we had the heat on last night for the wife because you know they get a little chilly in the mountain air it's like seven degrees celsius in the morning here so the trailer cools off a little bit doesn't bother me any but got to keep the happy happy wife happy life so yeah let's get down to this corner and we'll see what it's like i don't think i'm going to get back around but that's a pretty pretty good run yeah we're getting into some faster water coming up here so i'll be right back when we get down there Okay, we're down in that corner here. So here's a little bit of fast water. It's not very deep, but I don't know how deep it gets out in there. Like it does have some holes and pockets and that's where the uh, trout kind of hang out. But uh, we might be able to get alongside there, but I don't know. So we're going to just go in, in along the side here and, and move up that way and see what we can do here. I'm, I'm walking in the water right now myself. Like I said, it's not very deep, so. Well, a little deep there, you can tell by the SX6, she gets in there. No issues with any uh, servos or anything in the water, nothing. And I'm running all stock stuff. Still a stock servo until she goes. I like, to, oh, I was probably out of the way because I'm trying, it's kind of slippery in here on these rocks. And I'm in the water, so let's see what we can do here. So sorry if I get the truck out of the camera, I'm behind it. I don't think we're going to get around this corner. It's going to be a little dangerous, I think. If we can get, yeah. I don't think I'm going to get through there. It looks pretty slippery and I'm wearing flip-flops, not water shoes. Because, of course, I didn't bring my water shoes. Whoop. I hung up on some mountain rock there. Come on, baby. Something's got me. Something's got me jammed up there. There's a rock or something underneath me. Oh yeah, that big pointy rock. So let's go around that sucker. 
Okay, bear with me a sec. I'm gonna go off here and see what it's like a little further up here without the truck, but I don't think we're going any further. Well, I walked down there myself. Uh, I walked in there a little bit and yeah, we're not gonna get through there. It's uh, pretty fast and I don't know what's around that corner. So we're just gonna probably go back up here and we might go for a bit of a break because I'm close to my trailer. Uh, do a battery check. Oh yeah, that's pretty deep there. But there is a lot of, uh, the way I came down this way, there's a lot of um, shoreline rock and stuff that's off the uh, edge of the water that I can get this into also. So we might go back that way for a little bit or I'll come back and we'll do that spot. Because this is a really good spot. I really like this place. My brother-in-law comes here all the time and this is our first time coming with him. And uh, yeah, we're going to be coming back here quite a bit. Because it is a good spot for one, for fishing, and of course uh, I just focused on my trucks and didn't bring my fly rod this time. Didn't think I'd be too interested with all my rigs. But uh, next time we come I'll be definitely bringing my, uh, my fly rod. Yeah, I think we can uh, go kind of here, just some some water from the river flowing backwards here. But yeah, we will uh, we will be definitely coming back here in the future. But I think uh, I found a path to my trailer up here soon, which is great because then I can. Uh, Start where I started or come back down this way and then <clears throat> go right back up to, to my uh, trailer and come back down this way. And let's see, yep, there is a path here. So let's, let's follow that path and it might be time for a coffee. It is almost four o'clock in the afternoon, but I like my coffee and there'll be a beer uh, for me in the evening. Oh yeah, look at this. This is gonna be perfect. We're gonna go up this path. Let's get out of, get her into. I didn't know this path was here. I couldn't see it. Oh yeah, that's right beside one of the cabins. So this campsite has some cabins in a few sites. I think there's six of them. And there's 30 sites total in this campground. And there's lots more in this area, but this is the only one that had powered sites. So. We come here as kind of a staging area, I guess, for the fly fishing and stuff, because you got power for your trailer. Because when it gets hot here, it gets hot. Yeah, we're coming up. And we will work our way back to my trailer. Yeah, look at that, right there. So right there, that's my brother-in-law's trailer campsite. And we'll just come up the road a little bit here. Kind of a nature walk for you guys, not just crawling, eh? This will be one heck of a long video. I might have to do this in a couple. You can hear my brother-in-law's pit bull inside the trailer barking at me. Zeker. They, like I said, they went to a coal mine tour of an old coal mine that's in the area. There used to be lots of coal mines here back in the day. So we're coming up onto my campsite. And then we're going to have a break and then we'll get back at some crawling in a little bit. We'll do some battery checks, let the truck dry out a bit. So yeah, so here's our site. There's my Jeep and my camper. And we're back for a break. So we'll be back out trailing in a second, guys. Thanks. See you in a bit. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is going to probably be the end of the... Uh, this video of crawling the SCX6 here in uh, the river bank that I'm at. So I came down here two or three days ago. We've had a bit of rain. We're camping. It's uh, it's called Castle, Castle Campgrounds in the Rocky Mountains in Alberta, kind of south of Lethbridge. So not too far from Calgary. I guess we're about three hours from Calgary, about an hour from Lethbridge. Not too far from the U.S. Canada border. And it's a, it's a great place, as you can tell by the video that uh, I just uploaded for you. That this place is awesome. So 
I'm, I'm hoping to come out here a lot more in the next few years with the wife and came out with her family. So we've been busy doing stuff with her nieces and her brother and stuff. So I haven't got much crawling time. I brought a whack of trucks, way too many that I shouldn't have brought. And uh, Jim's RC, yeah, you're right. I took way too many. Uh, Dennis, yeah, you, you betcha. Trail, crawl, trail Critters RC, you betcha. And trail crawlers, I took way too many. But that's okay. I have, I've been having a good time. Uh, they went in to do some coal mine tour today, and I thought, yeah, no, I'm not going into no blacked out coal mine that uh, I don't need to go see, and nothing that I wanted to do but get out here and do some more trailing. And I've just come, like, I started at the beginning of the campground. There's kind of like a little beached area. And it's, of course, it's, it's you can see it behind me, the, the river flows through here, this Castle uh, River. And there's lots of guys usually uh, fly fishing and stuff in here, but uh, the, today it's been pretty quiet. It's a Monday, so I came down, I, and everyone's kind of over at the beach, and I started there and started working my way down. I think I passed my trailer up in the campground uh, quite a while ago, probably down a K, maybe a K and a half. Um, but yeah, and I still got lots. Like I, I will show you. I'll turn the camera around here. I can just keep going and going through this river along the shoreline. It's it's low, but uh, yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, thanks for all the subscribers. I've gone up a couple. I haven't posted in a long time. I've been kind of busy with work and getting ready to come camping and a few other things going on. But uh, thanks for all those new subscribers. And if you haven't subscribed, hey, please do. It's free. Uh, cost you nothing. Just hit that subscribe button. And if you're interested in watching more of my videos, click the bell, select all, and you'll get them all. And for all my subscribers that I do have, thanks for sticking with me. And uh, hope you enjoyed this video. And I was hoping to get another truck out, but I'm just having too much fun with the SCX6s. I got two more days here. Um, maybe tomorrow if the weather holds. Uh, it's been kind of on and off rain and sun. We're about 21 degrees Celsius today, so it's a perfect day to get out trailing. Kind of cloud. We had rain this morning and it cleared up a bit, but we got overcast. But it's still good. So anyways, guys, I'm not going to blabble on any longer. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully I'll get some more footage and put it up. Uh, I know I didn't do an intro for this video. Uh, I just got out and started crawling and it's a, probably going to be a long one because I'm trying to get as much footage as I can of at least being here with the SAX6 honcho and, and I do have the Jeep but I don't know how well she'll do in here the honcho's killing it uh, getting hung up a little bit but that's to be expected this is all rock this is the mountains so it's rocky terrain the diffs and the pumpkins are getting hooked up a bit and uh, I'm still having a good time so anyways thanks for watching guys and remember everybody stay safe and keep your wheels to the ground Cheers. See you at the next one.